what up this video go back with another video i'm talking about what's in the above and below uh but like always you know i do my comp picks so without further ado let me get started and my manga picks the manga picks i might have talked about these already at least one of them i know i might have i'm just gonna talk about them again just to make sure if i missed it on last one on the last video is a holy rising corpse volume four i just continue the story of nikolai and there's uh three witches now as i keep meeting witches go to like his birth town it was burned down by witches and start this whole saga. Um, some other more updating stuff happened to this. I finally finished it, but uh, I won't spoil anything. But definitely pick up you know, series, or if you're into witches or stuff like that, you like mythology, like Game of Thrones, uh, start from one, but definitely continues to be interesting. They're very lewd and some very like weird scenes. This is a heads up for them. Then we got uh, Maya Maya Maya, a magical director, Michael Chan's. Kind of just uh, guidance. It's just about a magical witch girl. Uh, I'm in the midst of reading, I haven't finished it. I'm this creator, a monster from Asumi, as you can see, I'm talking about. Uh, it's like a one shot series. Very comical, very funny. I like his art way, he draws stuff. He knocks in the back that he loves boobs. But uh, definitely pretty comical, and check it out uh, if you're in that kind of thing. You know, so far it's been a pretty cool read. I can end up reading some comics one quick. I finally picked this exciting inclusion of the Tekken comic book of the four miniseries. Nothing really too fancy. Uh, I guess minus boys, Angel does make an appearance. It's cool to see where they go from there, but nothing like too crazy. Um, and I also, which is really hard to find issue four of this, but I found issue three is Keep Butter vs. Dark Stalkers. Just continue the Dark Stars more. As you can see, it's some more plot developers with Morgan. And Doc Stock is what they're gonna do alongside the big crossover. Definitely pretty good though. What else we got? Uh I also got I picked it up in from Chaos Comics when the when the creators of Eva Ernie and the spin-off Bad Kitty, she's just this assassin mercenary and she, this is kinda cool. I thought well, she was so I picked it up, it was very cheap. I just thought I was like, hey, issue one, it's hard to find those. Then they check it out. I also got for uh, a bunch of notes from uh, once, I guess. I got, I picked up, even though I've caught up to it, like I'm issue three, and I figured that I might have just bought one on once because it's hard to find. Matt, that's a, it's the Rocco's Modern Life comics. So I got issue four, five, six, and seven. Is that seven? No, that's five, my bad. That's six. Oops, and that's seven. <laughs> but this is issue uh, for it. Okay, it just continues the story as Rocco and his gang, you know, do funny adventures and stuff like that. Uh, definitely pick up if you're in a thought different throw back for the, the 90s Rocco. I know that team movie is eventually going to come out of the original footage at Comic Con, but they've been pretty cool to see that happen. And the last but not least, I got because uh, when the pretty cool guy Larry Wells. His creation, I've talked to him only a couple times. I almost got to meet him, but his, it was super cheap. It might be it might be a reprint, because when I was like, I'm lose it, they were selling it for like a high price at 50, but I got this like dirt cheap. Uh, so it's a cherry, a cherry pop tart. Just kind of like a, a dope comic book, very play on words of Archie. Uh, definitely pretty cool though, you know, it's one of his creations. Um, he's worked on a lot of different other stuff as well, but it's still very comical, uh, sex humor, like, Rogarity is funny. This is supposed to be issue one. Uh, they used to be in like, Playboy magazine, so it's definitely pretty cool to see how that goes. But with the four minute mark, uh, this is my pick. This one, I'm just I talk about it, but it wasn't love. I started a uh, trend in uh, anti con, it's not the first con, because it's not <laughs> the first uh, anti con when that people have come forward and said it was a hentai fest. Might have been in Vegas, I'm not totally sure about it, but there was one before, and it was. Uh, Way back, way back in the day, they had a hentai music video contest. It's an anime music co contest. They had a hentai cosplay contest. So and a couple other stuff. But this the uh, hentai con in Denmark partnered with Faku is not the first ever in the world. Uh, I just want to get it out there. Like I know people, it is like the first thing from the lie I've ever heard. No, I guess not the full the whole full length one. They've had a full whole thing in that country before. So I thought, I'm not trying to do a shade, it's just true. Pretty sure this would be a good con and everything. But I just want to acknowledge that. 
and I feel like people fans have been coming and saying, I was like, well, it's not really our first, so we would need to definitely demonstrate that. But yeah, so hashtag anti-con, not the first anti-con. I just want to get that out there. But uh, yeah, so that's it, five minute mark, you know, just making this video when I can. Uh, you know, next time, guys, the video sign off with on the piece. Check out my podcast and Anchor, I pop it too. You can donate if you want. It's on iTunes, Google Play, the, not Google, we yeah, had a Google Play app, that podcast app network, and then Stereo, and wherever you can get podcasts. It's both Take care. I'm on the piece. Check it out. I'll leave the link in the blog.